Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to play Down the Hill track. So, okay, we have A, B and C. And they should go A here and B and C on top there. Car moves first. I don't know when the boat goes and we have a 25 road. So, let's see what we can do. So, the balloon is in the way there. Let's just go around it like that, maybe. And pretty much the same thing here. Just a more or less straight line. And they have unlimited steel and we have two hydraulics. Okay. Don't know why we don't have any wood, because I would like to use some. Like here. To make my normal triangles, but no, I can't. So I need to do something like this. It's a lot more expensive. It's a bit more stable, but I don't need this kind of stability right now. And you could probably just do it as a one bridge thing. So the part over here is this one and this one sticks together. So I don't use the landmass in the middle as I do right now. Let's see if the first car breaks this here or not. I don't think it will, but it might break it here. No? Good. And then just build something similar here. Don't really need to be that precise. And first I just want it to work, so I won't use any hydraulics or anything like that. I was on the siege getting the first car to the right place. Then I will start to worry about the other things on the map. I don't think I will need to rebuild like anything. Because, yeah. It seems to be a pretty simple concept. Might need to, or probably need to place a hydraulic here or here. But we will see. So, if I created this map, I would definitely have done something different. Like I would have... What? That's strange. Why did it design it like this? So, you probably got a hydraulic phase, then a boat phase, or car phase, then a hydraulic phase again, or something like that, but that's just weird. Don't see why anyone would design a level like this. It goes up here. No idea. But I would have the boat go at the same time as the first car, and have these two cars go at the same time. Because this is just strange. And the budget is super high. Just want to test something. And see if it works. It might, it might not. It probably won't work. But why not try it when I can? So depending on the car's speeds, I might be able to drop them down and I should change that so it has a little gap in the middle. Like that, here. Otherwise it would have bent to the side when it got pressure on it. And I really don't like that. And now I don't have that any problem anymore. Let's just have three things. So three yellow dots under each triangle. Make it easy to count or something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking all the time. Or actually I do, I, it's gives the exact length here. 
So I should probably just place it here and here and here because it will be easier for me to do this now instead of the other way around. It takes a lot of less time, a lot less time probably is the way you should say that. So what I want to do is to drop down the cars here. So that one dropped too far. So if I have a hydraulic piston here, some kind of fancy stuff here, like that. Now the car will drop down earlier. A bit too early. Let's replace what I did. And maybe just have that hydraulic on the end here. And I forgot to remove that one. A lot broke, but... Okay, let's minimize the extension a bit. Okay, a bit more. So let's place it up here. And we might want to expand with less than whatever percentage I picked there. Because now when it gets retracts, it might want to go back in the same way, or that way, yeah, like that. And that's not okay! Don't know if this solution is cheaper than my last one, but it is cooler, I think. So, expand more, 45 maybe? Go, go, go! 47, maybe? I know that this thing here can work at least. So I can go drop it on this right place. And the only thing is I need to drop these two on the right place now. If they get dropped too far away, I can just remove the first point here. But that looks good. Well, let's see if the other one drops into place in such a nice way. No, it doesn't. So that's a real problem. The way we can solve that is by having a little road up like this, but this might give us a lot of problems. So let's see what happens now. Yeah. It's not strong enough here. So let's reinforce it. Maybe I'll build something on top. Like this. Might work. Might not, but... Yeah, it works. How's the stress? I'm oh, pretty good. Could maybe reinforce the road. Yeah. So that was thing I was, had a problem with. But this could happen. So what we need to do is move it with a hydraulic. Prob that's probably not far enough. Almost. So let's just remove that and add another hydraulic. Turn grid off. And then just another hydraulic. Now it should move away far enough, so the car doesn't hit it, but it moved probably far, too far away. So, no, oh, it actually got back to in the right stage. And I hope that that little scooter thing won't hit it and it didn't. And now I hope that this vehicle hits that wall. It did not. That means I need to move it downwards. Let's just place a couple of roads down here and see which one it hits. Could just do it like this. Needs a bit more strength, I see. So, just cross connect these and then reinforce the road. We have lots and lots of money. So, no more worries about that. Could maybe even make some struts down here and here.
let's see which one it hits. It should hit one of them at least. Or the next one should hit at least one of them. Good! Awesome! So if you like my solutions here, I like with you. If you have any solutions yourself you want to share with me, leave a comment down below so I can see it. If you have suggestions on levels I should play in the future, leave a comment or a link or whatever to them, and I will check them out. And see you next time!